and go to the university with lecture with her. Is it true? What do you have to say? Is it true? Anything, anything to your family? Anything, anything you do, you do, you do you have a relationship with her? Are you denying thing? this? Can you deny this? Or some, is somebody lying here? Andrew, is somebody lying here? I'll have to talk, man, before we go for a while. Andrew, chest, is, some, is somebody, somebody lying here, Andrew? Are you happy with your decision? Did you deny it at the end? Andrew, did you deny Sergeant Washington Moscoso, W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N, M-O-S-C-O-S-O. So the individual we just walked out, uh, his name is Andrew McCowan, M-C-C-O-W-N, Andrew's common spelling, 27-year-old, uh, SID number 11-96377. So in early March, San Antonio Police Department was contacted by Northeast ISD. One of their, one of their teachers was having an improper relationship with a student. SAPD went out to the location, to the high school, and immediately took the report, contacted our uh, detectives here at our Special Victims Unit, who immediately started looking into the case. Over the, pa over the course of the next couple of weeks, uh, the detective, who was the lead detective on this case, was interviewing the, su uh, interviewing the, uh, the victim, rather, and attempted to interview the suspect. The suspect uh, did not want to cooperate with the investigation. Uh, but over the next couple of weeks, she was able to gather enough information, gather enough probable cause to uh, walk a warrant on the individual. Today, the individual, the, the warrant was signed by a judge, and members from our special vic I'm sorry, from our uh, street crimes unit uh, was able to contact the individual who was at home and took him into custody without incident. Um, the, the victim is a 17-year-old female, and the suspect is again, it's a 27-year-old. He was a teacher. He was a math, an algebra teacher, and a football coach. Uh, this is this this relationship appeared to have started um, early this year, and like I said, in March, uh, the school district immediately put him on administrative leave while this investigation was taking place. Okay, in in Espanol, un momento por favor. And in marzo, in marzo de este año. Nosotros fuimos contactados por el, el, el NEISD, que había un um, profesor que estaba teniendo relaciones in, um, improper, in, in, in propiedades con un estudiante. El oficial fue y tomó el reporte, contactó a los detectives de nuestra unidad de Special Victims. La detective eh, comenzó su investigación y um, habló con la víctima que estaba co cooperating con la investigación, a atentó a, a hablar con el sospechoso, pero él no estaba, co no estaba hablando con, con nosotros. Uh, ella había suficiente probable cause para obtener un, uh, una orden de arresto y hoy miembros de nuestro uh, equipo de SCU Street Crimes Unit fue y lo arrestó en su casa sin incidente. Uh, en marzo, cuando la, la, el school district aprendió de esta relación, lo pusieron al, al profesor en admin duty. Él no, está, él no tenía contacto con estudiantes. Okay? I'll take any questions at this time. ¿Cuánto tiempo eh, de que tenían esta relación? Parece que esta relación comenzó en, uh, en el principio del año, como en enero, por ahí. Por ahí. Okay. Two months? What's going on? Yeah, from what I understand, the relationship uh, started in early January, early this year, around January at some point. ¿Cómo fue que, cómo fue que se dieron cuenta, los padres se dieron cuenta primero, ella habló con alguien ¿Cómo, cómo parece, que, parece que ella habló con uh, unos uh, estudiantes de la escuela y los estudiantes contactaron a sus um, administration de, de la escuela sí. mm -hmm. So it, it appears that the victim was talking, telling about the relationship to her, to her classmates, some friends maybe and then those students went and contacted the, uh, the administration who contacted SAPD 
So we're hoping that by by uh, showing the, the the teacher right now, if any, if there are any other um, students who may be victims, that they come forward and and, uh, and see if there's any other um, victims out there. Also, this it appears like this teacher was a teacher at uh, Robinson High School in Robinson, Texas. So we're going to try to reach out to that school district and see if there may be any other victims that attended that school. Uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt High School. Hay un momento en que en qué momento se vuelve el sargento una relación inapropiada, inapropiada, porque son maestros tienen que estar eh sí. counseling, sí. dando clases, so, en qué momento la policía dice esto ya no ya no va. Bueno, es una relación que cruza de que, que, que bueno, es un improper relationship. Algo, algo ocurrió en esa relación que se cruzó a, a un a, 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 a sexual contact, sexual intercourse, algo sexual que se pasó de ya no, se, ya no es teacher student, ya ahora es inappropriate. inappropriate. Mm -hmm. Can you just speak in general about, because we've been seeing several of these lately. Mm -hmm. another, sure. Another sure. So these, these, um, this law is on the books because there's a very distinct relationship between an educator and a student and and we want to we we the the, the public want to you know make sure that that relationship is such that it's respected a teacher and a student when when the lines get crossed and becomes an inappropriate relationship then it disrupts the educational process. It, it disrupts our relationships, and then that can also spill out, spill over to other students, right? That they, they look at the teacher differently. They look at their relationship, and maybe and there's there's various reasons why, right? And so um, that that's why this law is in place: is that teachers teach, students go to school because they're there to learn, and when when there's any kind of um, inappropriateness that's the the elements of the offense are there we're going to act on it and we're going to arrest ¿Cuál es el consejo para los padres para que estén más atentos porque ya como no es el único caso que ha pasado en este mm, día Sí Lo, para los padres uh, pedimos que pon Pongan mucha atención a lo que están haciendo sus hijos afuera de la escuela, si están en social media, si están hablando con sus amigos, están hablando de un una profesor o alguien en una posición de, de autoridad que están uh, teniendo una relación que no está apropiada, uh, que se que hagan preguntas, pregunten y, y que se envuelven en la vida de sus hijos, de sus hijos. Aparentemente ustedes van a, a, a contactarse con otra escuela, sí. porque existe la posibilidad de que en casos como este una persona tenga ya relación con otras personas. Eso es, ¿Por qué? Sí, claro, eso siempre es una posibilidad. Cuando te, cuando alguien tiene, uh, cuando una, un profesor tiene una relación con una relación con un estudiante es muchas veces no es la primera vez que pasó o que ocurrió. Uh, no estamos diciendo que eso ocurrió en este en este incidente, pero vamos a ver si hay en esa otra school, en esa otra uh, escuela, um, tienen algo así, unas, unas víctimas que pueden hablar. Thank you. Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you.